Hi, I'm Susan. Thanks for joining me on Susan's Cozy Kitchen. Today I'm making chicken divan casserole, the old-fashioned version. No canned soup, no mayonnaise. It's one of my favorite casseroles and I hope after today it'll become one of yours too. The full recipe for today's casserole will be in the description box below. Be sure and check it out. Let's get started putting the casserole together. I've prepared my casserole dish just by spraying a little bit of oil inside, covering the bottom and the sides. First thing that I'll put in, three cups of frozen broccoli that I have steamed until it's just tender crisp. On top of that, I'll add an ounce of shredded cheddar cheese, then I'll layer my two and a half cups of chopped chicken. Then we'll move over to the stove top and make the sauce. So let's get started putting this together first. Get that nice and even. On top of the broccoli, let's add an ounce of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. On top of that, chicken. Lots and lots of chicken. I have about two and a half to three cups of chicken. You can use white meat, you can use dark meat, you can use a combination of both. You want some just plain chicken cut up into bite-sized pieces. Let's get started with the sauce. Turn on the heat. I have about a medium, medium low flame. I wanna do this kind of low and slow. Okay, first, there's four tablespoons of butter, and we'll let that melt. I turn the heat down to a low heat because I want to melt the butter slowly. Add a quarter cup of flour, and let's get that mixed in with the butter, make a nice little roux. I'll let the flour cook for about a minute. You don't want raw flour, you want it cooked, but you don't want it to brown. So when it starts getting just the least little bit of color, I will start adding the rest of the ingredients. Time to make the sauce. I'll pour two cups of chicken broth into the pan and whisk that in. Time to turn the heat up to medium. I want to whisk that in. Okay, just making sure that there aren't any lumps, that it's nice and smooth. I'm also going to add a half cup of half and half. I prefer half and half because it's a little richer than just milk and it's not too heavy the way a heavy cream would be. I am not going to add any extra salt into this, but I am going to do a couple of twists of black pepper. Whisk that in, and I'm just going to continue cooking this until it starts to thicken. So I will let it come to a boil, and then I'll lower the heat a bit and keep whisking. While you're doing this, it's a good time to go ahead and start preheating your oven because as soon as this is finished, we'll pour it over the chicken and broccoli and into the oven it goes. I'm going to whisk in a quarter cup of cheese. This has Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago. So let's whisk that in. Let this simmer for about five minutes. And really, you want the sauce to get all into the chicken and down into the broccoli. So I think that's good. The sauce is ready. Let's pour it over. Just kind of all around, getting it into all the nooks and crannies there. Just even it out a little bit, make sure everything's covered. Let's add just a sprinkle of the three cheeses on top. Again, Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago. If all you have is Parmesan cheese, that's fine. You don't have to go out and buy the three cheese blend. 
it's just my favorite blend so it's what I use and just a little sprinkle of curry powder over the top and that just adds another layer of flavor you don't want to put so much that it's overwhelming just enough to be tasty and pretty okay the oven is preheated 325 let's put the casserole in Okay, the timer has gone off. It is ready to come out. Mm. Perfect. The casserole is hot. It's bubbling. It's lightly brown on top and looks and smells absolutely wonderful. I like to serve it with rice, a crescent roll, and another vegetable, something that will add a little color to the plate. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like, and if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll know as soon as I upload another video. Thanks for joining me today. God bless.